Hello friends, welcome to my channel. In this video, we will discuss the developed surface of that how to develop the literal surface of hexagonal base pyramid. So in hexagonal base pyramid, five number of sides will be there in the base. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So if you will unfold this, six number of triangles will be there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. All the lines are slant heights and these all the edges are base edge so I have already uploaded three videos that is triangle base square base and pentagonal base pyramid so almost the procedure is same you can see 90% of the procedure is same first we have to draw the top view of the pyramid then front view and then we will develop the surface the statement of this problem is available in description box so we are going to develop the literal surface of a hexagonal base pyramid. So first we have to draw one hexagon here. So how to draw a hexagon? With the help of compass. We will see it. First draw a circle with radius 30. That is equal to base edge. The base edge is 30. Right? So draw a circle with radius 30. Now, from this horizontal axis, from this point, take an arc of 30 upside and 30 downside. Similarly, from this axis, horizontal axis, 30 upside and 30 downside. Now you can join these all the points, you will get a regular hexagon. I hope you got the point that why I am preparing this thing. Because my objective is to get the hexagon, not a circle. So you can join these all the points, you will get a regular hexagon. Now this is a regular hexagon, you can remove this circle with the thanks. So now this till this step this is the top view of the hexagonal base prism. So we will convert this into top view of pyramid. So here we have to draw the slant edges of the pyramid so we will join these vertices now this is the apex these are the vertices 1, 2, 3 and so on Let's take the reference line now. Take the projection. This is the projection 2, 6. This is 5. And this is 4. Now next we have to create the height of the pyramid take the projection from this centroid the height of the pyramid is 80 so from reference line we have to draw a center line of 80 Now you can join the vertices to the apex.
now this is the front view so in this front view can you confirm which one is the true slant height i'm not asking slant height i'm asking true slant height this is 2 dash 6 dash 3 dash 5 dash 4 dash this is 4 dash option a b c d which one is the true slant height yes this one and this one these both are the true slant height this is also slant height but these two are apparent slant height because these two edges are not parallel to the p o1 and O4, these are the only two slant edges which is parallel to VP. So this will give you true slant height in the front view. So remaining procedure is same. Take the projection, you can take a distance of 15 mm here. Here also you can take a distance of 15 mm. Now we got the slant height. Now remaining procedure is same. That is, you have to take an arc equal to slant height. And here you have to draw the base edges of 30 mm. 30, 30, 30. As per the statement, cutting plane is also given. So cutting plane is passing through the midpoint of the axis at the angle of 45 degree. So remaining procedure is just same as the previous one. That is triangle base, square base and pentagonal base prism pyramids. So how to do the remaining part as per the statement? Please refer to the triangle base pyramid video. The remaining procedure is same in all the pyramids, square base, pentagon base and triangle base pyramid. Simply you have to draw six number of triangles here by taking an arc. Take base edges 30, 30, 30. You will get the triangles here. For example, here we'll take the arc. Here 30 mm. So this is slant height, base edge. Second triangle, slant height, base edge. Similarly, up to six triangles. And after adding the cutting plane, collect the points here and distribute the points with the help of compass. Please refer to the triangle base pyramid video. The link, the link is also available in description box. Thank you so much and subscribe to the channel please.